Hello family, we are making osobuko, also known as beef shanks today. They were so juicy, tender, oh, so delicious. The bone marrow was to die for. Alright, so to start off, welcome to Banana TV. We are going to start by seasoning our osobuko. So we're going to season with salt and pepper. I'm now adding barbecue spice. You're most welcome to just use salt and pepper. But adding barbecue spice to these beef shanks added so much flavor. I'm so happy I did that. So repeat on both sides and then add some black pepper and some salt then rub everything in let's drizzle with some olive oil repeat on the other side and on the sides So with the uh, vegetables, we're going to chop one onion. I'm going to add some celery and carrots. I didn't want to buy a big bag of celery because I don't use it much. So I just bought what I was going to use on this day. A bit of carrots and those celery stalks. We're also going to need some three bay leaves and chicken stock pot. You can use any chicken stock that you have available. And of course, a glass of red wine. You can have also buko without red wine. So to make sure that our meat stays together, we're going to use a twine to wrap it around both our beef shanks so they stick together in the pot. So tie both of them and then when you're done just place your meat on the flour. I've seasoned this flour with salt and pepper. So make sure you just do this before browning your meat. The flour is going to help thicken the sauce so this is quite important. Time to brown our beef shanks. This is the exciting part. Browning your meat is just going to make sure that you, your meat is just so, so tasty. So once brown, you can set aside and start with the other one. So when the other one is done, you can just add a bit of olive oil and add your onions into the pot and saute until soft. Add your celery stalks and carrots. Mix 
Flawless Wall. Some tomato paste with flour. And place your meat back in the pot. Add some red wine to decrease the pan. Mm, it smells so lovely. Now I'm adding my three bay leaves and the chicken stock pot and three cups of water. So I'm just grabbing some rosemary from the garden and some thyme. So this is rosemary. And some thyme all washed. Alright, now we're going to close the lid and place this in the oven, 170 degrees oven for three hours. We are going to let it cook. And three hours later, voila! Our osobuko is ready. Oh my goodness, it smells so lovely, guys. You see, it just came off. So soft, tender. Mm, 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 mm. You can serve this with rice, with polenta, with pap, with creamy sam risotto, anything that you like. Don't forget to remove the twine. <laughs> we don't want you eating that. So the other piece just fell off because I think it was a smaller portion but the big one it is managed to stay together I'm happy about that so pour your juices over and serve if you want you can take a strainer and strain out all the vegetables but I wanted to enjoy the chunky veggies so I just kept it as it is bon appetit bye guys